Hi everyone and welcome to Friday with Flinders. One of our friends asked that we repost some of our concerts and so we decided to make this weekly event so that we could keep in touch with you all. And so here we are with Friday with Flinders. We were talking with the quartet over Zoom about the ritual of a concert, getting ready, going out for a meal with friends, enjoying a magnificent concert and then having a drink afterwards. And we know that we've been trying to do this as much as we can at home, making a special meal out of whatever's in the cupboard, opening that precious bottle of wine, putting our favourite concert onto the telly and putting it through the speakers. But what we can't replace is the live concert and being in the concert hall and those moments that happen live on stage. We are looking forward to sharing those moments with you in the future. However you listen to your concerts, we do hope that Friday with Flinders brings back some great memories. And if you are seeing these concerts for the first time, you're in for a real treat. What we have today is Puck's Dream by Ian Grandage. We commissioned Ian to arrange Mendelssohn's Overture to a Midsummer Night's Dream the string quintet with two violas interspersed with some of Puck's monologues. Ian then wove in some of his own music as well to create this new masterpiece. I will never forget asking Chris Moore if he wouldn't mind memorising some of Puck's monologues and then performing them within the piece. He didn't bat an eyelid. He just said, sure. How lucky are we to have this music? Thank you, Felix Mendelssohn. Thank you, Ian Grandage. Thank you, Richard Piper, who put together this production. Thank you, Chris Moore. Stay well, everybody. We'll see you next Friday. Now the hungry lion roars and the wolf beholds the moon whilst the heavy ploughman snores all with weary task foredone. Now the wasted brands do glow whilst the screech owl screeching loud puts the wretch that lies in woe in remembrance of a shroud. Now it is the time of night that the graves all gaping wide Everyone lets forth his sprite in the churchway paths to glide. And we fairies that do run by the triple Hecate's team from the presence of the sun following darkness like a dream now are frolic. Not a mouse shall disturb this hallowed house. I am sent with broom before to sweep the dust behind the door.
Over hill, over dale, through bush, through briar, over park, over pale, through flood, through fire, I do wander everywhere, swifter than the moon's sphere. Follow you, I'll lead you about around. Through bog, through bush, through brake, through briar. Sometime a horse I'll be. Sometime a hound. A hog, a headless bear. Sometime a fire, and neigh, and bark, and grunt, and roar, and burn. Like horse, hound, hog, bear, fire, at every turn. thinks aright. I am that merry wanderer of the night. I jest the fairy king and make him smile when I a fat old bean fed horse beguile, neighing in likeness of a filly foal. And sometime lurk I in a gossip's bowl, in very likeness of a roasted crab. And when she drinks against her lips I bob, and down her withered neck I pour the ale. The wisest aunt telling the saddest tale. Sometime for three foot stool mistaketh me. Then slip I from my, her bum, down topples she, and whoop she cries and falls into a cough. And then the whole choir hold their hips and laugh. <laughs>
pearl upon thy eyes I throw all the power this charm doth owe. When thou wakest, let love forbid sleep his seat on thy eyelid. Revels must be done with haste, for night's swift dragons cut the clouds full fast. And yonder shines Aurora's harbinger, at whose approach ghosts wandering here and there troop home to churchyards. Damned spirits, all that in crossways and floods have burial, all ready to their wormy beds are gone. For fear day should look their shames upon, they willfully themselves exile from light. And must, for I, consort with black browed night. If we shadows have offended, think but this, and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. And this weak and idle theme, no more yielding but a dream. Gentles, do not reprehend. If you pardon, we will mend.
And as I am an honest puck, if we have unearned luck now to scape the serpent's tongue, we will make amends ere long. Else the puck a liar call. So, good night unto you all. Give me your hands if we be friends, and Robin shall restore amends. <laughs>